Hartford to New Hartford now with breaking news on a devastating fire that tore through a historic building last night. It happened right in the center of town. Shout out to Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore joins us now live from the scene. And Shante, what can you tell us about what's going on there now? Well, Roger, we are learning that a Burlington firefighter is the one who is hurt after experiencing a serious medical issue at the scene. And we're also learning as for the tenants that they are all accounted for. Everyone is safe at this hour. And for hours, fire crews really had to battle defensively to knock down this fire. And we want to show you this. An eyewitness is sharing these images. And you can kind of get a glimpse as far as what firefighters had to deal with as flames skyrocketed into the early morning sky while smoke billowed in the air. Air as well and drone 3 shows you an aerial view of what the fire left behind the new Hartford house was built in the mid 1800s and served as the place to celebrate milestones on the back side of the building you'll see the second and third floors collapse that's where people lived and many were asleep when the fire happened we spoke to a tenant who describes a frightening moments her family experienced before escaping from the burning building the window had exploded in and a big backdraft flame came shooting in. Luckily, he was in the other room with us, and we grabbed our kid, and we all just ran out the door without anything. So thankful everyone managed to make it out okay. Now more than 100 firefighters from nearly 30 departments responded to the scene, some who were treated for smoke inhalation, and we're still waiting to learn what caused this fire. Meanwhile, Route 44 and surrounding roads will be closed because of this scene, and later at 5, we'll dive into the building's history, including the new owner who is hoping to bring new life into this building through renovations. Live in New Hartford this afternoon, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.